Hello again, students. This is Mr. Peterson in the Book Creator app trying to show you some uh, more advanced techniques that you can use in order to um, enhance your comic book that you're creating in the Book Creator app. So I'm, as you can see, um, in my comic book that I started. And now that I've got some content, uh, I can play around a little bit more. I can do some things that are kind of neat. So one of the things that you can do is you can add sound. So you'll notice when you hit your plus button in the upper right corner, you can choose add sound. It may ask you immediately, do you allow the app to uh, access your microphone? Please say yes. Um, if you've said no before, we could fix that, but we're not going to get into that right now. So um, if you had some sound on your iPad already that uh, you know is going to be okay for you to, you to use. In other words, you're not trying to grab some Taylor Swift stuff and just put it on your iPad and play it on your comic book because, you know, it's copyright. So you've got some maybe music that you created on your own. Maybe you've got um, something else that you wanted to say. You can just record, okay? So if you hit the record button, you'll notice right away now that it is recording. It is playing whatever I'm saying. So I can narrate a part of the scene. I can tell a part of my story. Um, if you're creative and you think about how it fits in your actual comic itself, you could have some of your characters actually like have to listen to something, and you can have that recording play of whatever it is that they wanted to listen to. So if I hit stop, uh, do you want to use this recording? Yes. You'll see that it pops my recording in. I can move it around. Okay. I can make it smaller so it doesn't take up a bunch of space. Uh, I can do whatever. You'll see you get a red line here saying, oh, too far. Do the same thing on the bottom. You'll get that it's off the screen. So I want to put it in a place that's going to kind of work for me. And maybe I want it to be right here in my speech bubble. I don't know. That could be where I'd want it. Now, if I click on it, I'm going to be able to go ahead and play it once I send this out into um, as an EPUB book and your people can, whoever's reading your book can open it and they'll be able to play that sound because it's attached to your book. So being able to kind of play around with that is great if you ever want to test it and see how things are going to work. If you hit export in the upper right corner, you can find the copy to iBooks option, send it over and then see how things are going to interact in the actual iBooks app because it will open it up right in there because it's a .epub file and it'll play in the iBooks app and you can flip through your book and get a preview of it. You can always delete it from there so it's not eating up all your space. So that's one thing that we can add into our comic that's a little bit more advanced. So be creative and think about are there places where sound would enhance your book. Another thing that's pretty neat is this idea if I click on the plus and then more in the upper right corner is adding stickers very comic booky. you can tell. You can add some of the plain ones here on the left and then add text inside of them yourself, or you can go with some of the ones that are already created. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose one of these already created ones, and I can place it around. That in and of itself, I like. I think it's kinda neat. Um, I can put it right inside one of my pictures. I think it's cool that I can kind of play around with that um, and do it. You'll notice if I click on the move back in front, I can move it behind or in front of some pictures. Um, I like the fact that I can make comic book type stuff. It reminds me of the old Batman shows and stuff where they had the pow and the bam and all that stuff when they got into fights. So those are neat. But one thing that really kind of kicked that up a notch is the ability to, if I hit the information button after I've selected my sticker that I popped in, is I can hyperlink, which I think gives you a ton of cool options. One option that I've talked to some students about is creating a Google Doc where you add some more to your story and you have a narrated part. Um, similar to like a Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick where there's like a lot of text added into your uh, story that's done a lot through images. And if you did that and we published it live to the web, we could then add the hyperlink into here. And then people could click on that and go out and read uh, extra part of your story that isn't included in these 11 pages that might be a little bit more text heavy. Could be interesting to do. So I'm just going to go ahead for now and say www schoology.com which is our learning management system that you all love and um, I'm gonna put that in there now in my book here it will not show but if you again were to send this out to iBooks you could see what that interactivity would be like and it would take them when they click on that out to the web so think about that how are people gonna know that you have a link there they're not unless you tell them so you may need to put some sort of uh, caption Add text, caption, um, click here to listen 
or read, I should say, uh, the note that was left by the door. Just being creative, right? So if I do this and kind of leave this over here, I could even go in here and add uh, a shape and they have arrows, right? And I can kind of play around with that and do whatever I want. I can make it smaller. You can do all kinds of stuff, right? You can be creative, think about that. What do you want it to look like? You can change your background, you can change a border and have nothing, do all kinds of stuff. So if I did that and I move this down maybe, and I added my arrow, I can now make sure that the people know what they need to do. And if you click there, it's going to send you out to a website or a Google Doc or whatever it is that you maybe want it to go to, okay? Maybe it's a video that you've made and put on YouTube that you want that link to go out to. Totally, totally up to you. So those are two things that are really kind of a neat thing to be able to kind of play with. Um, another option that I love is, you know, when you do get into more pages, changing the background up to maybe a different background color. I remember reading like Kazukubushi, uh, the Amulet series, his graphic novels play on like the background color as well to kind of inform you about as the story's going on what's happening. Maybe it's a flashback or a flash forward or a dream or something like that. So use that background color to kind of see that and I definitely encourage you to explore graphic novels or comics that you maybe have available to you or go to our library in school here and we definitely have some graphic novels you can check out and see how authors kind of use that. It's pretty interesting and it kind of can definitely enhance your book as a whole. So I think this is kind of a neat way of going about doing that. So those are two things you can do. Another that I'll just give you a, a little show of in shapes, I just showed you how to add that. Um, if you get into the pen tool, I can go ahead and choose you know, some color that I wanna choose and, and write with. I can uh, click on my pen size and whatever, and I can go ahead and, and this is gonna be really kind of crummy. I can go ahead and draw whatever I'd like here. And then I can hit done and I can add that in. So I'm not sure how you may want to use that. It's not an art creation app. It's very much just a pen tool. Um, this is something that you could use if you needed to, you know, maybe you wanted to use that to draw your arrow to the link or something like that versus having to, uh, you know, use the stickers or whatever it is you may decide is going to be best for your stuff. So. This is some a little bit more advanced technique. Uh, those sounds and links could very much enhance your work. Think about how those could be used in your piece, and um, I encourage you to play with those. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you, and I will um, see you soon.